This is Vishakhapatnam, the city of destiny. But for many, it's becoming the city of shattered dreams. Every day, online predators trick its citizens out of more than 1.5 crore rupees. In just one year, the city bleeds 550 crores. Across India, the toll is even more staggering. Over 10,000 crores snatched by shadowy figures lurking behind state-controlled firewalls. My name is Narendra. I'm from Vishakhapatnam. Recently, in the third week of May, I became a victim of a cyber fraud. In the fraud, I lost more than 27 lakhs through my credit cards. In 2020, after Corona, I faced financial problems and decided to go to other countries to earn more. I searched online and found an ad of an agency I became close to an agent from the agency. When I went to raise a complaint with the police, I saw people who had lost more than one and a half crores in a single day to cyber frauds. We became close. He said he started a consultancy. I live in Vaisak, proper Vaisak. He said he recruited a lot of people to try convince me. You will earn more than a lakh a month. All your family problems will be solved. He asked me to deposit 2.5 lakh to his account. How it started? I first got a WhatsApp message and then they asked me to subscribe to their YouTube channel and like their posts and videos and then share the screenshots with them and then they pay me. It seemed genuine and with curiosity to explore more. I liked the posts and shared the screenshots. After two tasks, they asked me for my phone pay. They sent 500 rupees to my phone pay account. After that, I asked what next? When I asked that to the fraudster, he connected me to a telegram ID. They asked me, do you have telegram? He said so. He said, you'll get a data entry job, he said to me. I thought it was good. The guy comes from a reference, a hometown guy. So I started my journey. So along with me, two Telugu guys joined me. He said all three of us would have the same job at the same location. From here, we went to Mumbai by flight, Vishakhapatnam to Mumbai, Mumbai to Bangkok, and from Bangkok, they took us in car, and we traveled by road. These operations used to always happen, but would happen only in India. After Corona, a lot of young people all over India were pulled into scams, unknowingly into job scams. They attract them for data entry operator jobs through a local agent. They pull up their local agents to send you to Thailand. They take them to Thailand, then to Cambodia to sell to the Chinese. Let's say 100 people went and as employees for a living. They lure them with a data entry operator job. They say that monthly you will make 70,000 rupees easily. So most often unemployed youths for jobs, they go abroad willingly. After they reached Thailand, they were taken to Cambodia. After picking them up from Cambodia, they give one week of training to them. How to chat, how to run a script, how to copy paste and so on. Then they will understand that these are scam jobs. These are extraordinary crimes on ordinary citizens. A war for your identity, your trust and your chance at happiness. In the dark underbelly of cyberspace, they play by a twisted code. Breaking news, shocking news was they said these are scamming jobs. Scam jobs, you have to join a company. We'll send you to the interviews for those companies. Once you get selected, you'll get 70,000 rupees as salary, incentives and more bonuses. Food and accommodation would be on them. If you work one year, they will take care of everything. So you can work happily, work 8 to 12 hours like it's a job. So after I entered into Telegram, they added me to a group. Even before adding me to the group, they created an environment. How it works is, they connect you to a person. That person is called receptionist. Subsequently, the receptionist will say, do this task, share this task. They keep giving tasks, either for Flipkart or Amazon. They give links and ask you to click and like and ask you to share the screenshot of the task. They say, 
each task is 150 rupees or 250 rupees and they will make us do them. After four tasks are done, they will say the amount will be doubled. 150 or 200 will be doubled to 300 or 400 and so on. They will say after every 500 or every 600, the payment will happen. Like this on 21st May, I did four transactions and I got the money immediately. So I thought this was a legit part-time job and I started believing. It's not true, but it feels so real and true. No one will question you. We will not face any troubles is what they say. We don't know all these things. We also fought after going there. We told them we had no interest. What happens if we get caught? They said, don't worry, everything will be taken care of. The local guys and the agents said, you won't get your money back. We were handed over to agents who don't speak our language. We couldn't go forward or backwards. We rejected a few companies. We fought saying we don't get Indian food. Nothing is like the agents told us and we want to get out. One night they said, you don't get to stay here. You don't obey us. And an agent took us out in the midnight. That local agent left us in the middle of the night on the road. He left us on the road and we stayed there. So we somehow called a Telugu agent and said, your agent left us on the road in the middle of the night. What do we do now? The Telugu agent said, wait. And he talked and they arranged a room. A hotel nearby was arranged. He took care of us temporarily and started brainwashing us again. So we went back to the camp. So we went to the company in Bavet. We went to another company. In that company, they said, you will not have much work. We will take care of everything. This company convinced us that they will do the typing, etc. If we get the Facebook request, we just have to send it to them. They will take care of the victim. They will type in Chinese and get them translated into local languages. They will only chat. Through chat, they ask people to invest in stock market and other different, different platforms. Each person runs their own version. They're all scams. One will make you invest in fake stock markets. One will trap you on Facebook. Subsequently, what happens is, once the money is doubled for each task amount, they add you to another telegram channel. Approximately all over India, these agents are working like sleeper cells. What happens in the telegram channel is, from morning 9.45 to evening 6, they will give us various tasks. They give us four tasks for each hour. They create time-bound tasks. Each task is of 15 minutes. In those 15 minutes, if we complete the task and show them, they will count it as a contribution. Once the amount reached 500 to 600 rupees, they would pay us on phone pay or the account we shared. From 9.45 to 11, after finishing four tasks, they give a premium task. That's when we get curious. What is the premium task? You feel like knowing about it, how to do it. So even before they tell us, they will create a situation that we ask them what it is. So with the curiosity about the premium task, we reach out to the receptionist. Because the receptionist is the only person who can add us to the group a day later. Once you join the group, there are around 500 to 600 people in the group. One or two new members get added hourly. Also, there would be around 30 to 35 members online. And as time progresses, we can see the number increasing. What we did is, we said we didn't want to stay. Three months later, we said the same thing. It's not possible, we can't. The moment we think we can go out of this, if someone's confidence develops, the treatment becomes very tough. They don't provide food. They make us stand the whole day. If you want to go, if you want to complain to the embassy, we will plant drugs in your room. You are spoiling everybody. We found the drugs on you. We will put a legal case against you. We will harass you and your family. Your entire family will commit suicide. 
They said all that and blackmail us, so we have no option but to do as they say. They say you're helpless and the embassy doesn't care about you. They say they bought the embassy folks. They made us fear them. They get work done. They harass you. If they harass, by seeing it, no one else will open their voice. They make sure you don't raise your voice and you eventually give up. The treatment creates fear in others and they don't want to be a rebel. They will try to work for a year or move on. They put us in a situation to let us just do our work and move on. They create a submissive mindset and make us work. Be charming. Make your victims trust you so deeply, they forget everything else. A mantra straight from the scammer's manual. But how did we get here? Is this confusion between reality and fantasy just a part of the grand illusion? The timeless concept of Maya. మంచి విషయం